Okay. We're gonna start. So today we're having a guest lecture. We have Chris Crawford uh, talking today. He's an old school game designer, and he's what I'd say one of the deeper thinkers uh, in the game industry. And if you remember from early classes, we had the taxonomy of on what is a game. That's from Chris. We, we read about that. Um, I'm assuming Chris is going to be introducing a lot of your background in this talk. I'll, I'll mention. Uh, right. I have a way. Uh, quick well, way he designed a lot of uh, a lot of games back in the old. Oh, maybe it's not too old, but you know, in the in the classic days of the uh, game industry, he's uh, one, the founder of the Computer Game Developers Developers Conference. I think they remember the computer part, yeah. but um, uh, back when, and that's been the primary. Uh, conference for game developers to get together to learn the craft of creating games. And that now has expanded to many other cities and countries. Um, so like last summer I went to Germany for the, at the Game Developers Conference there. Um, so I'll pass it on to Chris. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll give you some context here. Um, when were most of you guys born? 1985? 92? Yeah. Before you were born, I had 14 published games. Okay? I'm really old. So, okay. Uh, I would like to start off today by asking a stupid question because stupid questions can sometimes produce illuminating answers. And the stupid question I have for you is what is a computer? Now, we've got a lot of answers to that question. A computer is a, a word processing machine, of course. It's also a spreadsheet machine, and let's not forget, it's a web browsing <coughs> machine. Uh, games, of course. Uh, image editing. Uh, music machine. And that's the problem, you see. If if computers are all of these different things, these things have nothing in common. If it's all of these things, then what is it, really? Well, my answer to that question is that a computer is, yes, thank you, an interactivity machine. The essence of all computing is interactivity, and that's a pretty strong plan. So let me at least provide some sort of justification for it. Let's, let's do a fantasy here. Let's suppose that um, I infect your computer with a virus. And this virus has only one attribute. It attacks all the applications inside your computer and removes the interactivity from them without otherwise altering the program. What would the effects of that be? For example, if you took a word processor and deleted the interactivity, what would you have left? Typewriter. Have any of you guys ever seen a typewriter? <laughs> hey, I'm not that old. Uh, spreadsheet. Subtract the interactivity from a, a spreadsheet, what's left? <laughs> not much more than pencil and paper. Uh, web browser. What's the internet without interactivity? Uh, pile of books, newspapers, and magazines, maybe? Or let's get sp uh, closer to home here. What would a game be like without interactivity? A movie. All right, that too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's totally boring if you can't interact with it. So my conclusion from all of this is that a computer without interactivity is a brick. It's absolutely useless. And that's why I claim that interactivity is, in fact, the essence of computing. However, let's combine this with some other information to see some rather disturbing <coughs> realizations. You may have be aware of the fact that the amount of software available for computers has increased exponentially in the last 30 years. The number of people working on computers has increased exponentially in the last 30 years. I mean, <laughs> uh, in 1987, I believed, 
I convened the game designers of the world in a room much smaller than this, okay? So the number of people has increased enormously. The amount of money has increased exponentially. But my opinion is that the quality of the interactivity has increased, well, maybe not as flat as that, but it hasn't increased anywhere near as fast as these other things have increased. We have a problem here. And I think that the problem is that interactivity is not really very well understood. And one reason for that is the amount of crap floating around about interactivity. Here's a quote from a book. This is page one. And they say, well, interactivity is whatever people do with computers. Great. That doesn't help very much, does it? Here's another one. I love this quote. Take a minute to read this. This is historic. This is pure, unadulterated essence of bullshit. <laughs> yep. I mean, <laughs> with stuff like this floating around, can you see why there's so many problems understanding interactivity? So, oh God, and then the marketing people come in. God, what they have done. They've decided that interactive means cool. And so now you can buy yourself an interactive children's rug. You know, <laughs> roll around on the floor and interact <laughs> with your rug. <laughs> or an interactive candy bar. Or this, an interactive shampoo. I mean, why just wash your hair when you can interact with that shampoo? <laughs> Uh, it really is only a matter of time before you walk into the supermarket and see something like this. So, uh, okay, so what is interactivity? Well, let me start off by saying a few negative things about it. Interactivity does not mean digital. Just because something's on a computer, that doesn't make it interactive. There's a lot of very poor interactive stuff on computers. And there's a lot of really great interactive stuff that happens that doesn't take place on computers. Second, interactive does not mean reactive. A lot of people seem to think that reactive, you know, can at, at its best transcends into a higher plane of interactivity or something like that. The, the way they explain it might be, uh, here I am reading this really great book and I'm just so much into it and the characters, they're alive for me and I just, oh wow, my heart's going like this. It's just, it's, it's so wonderful, it's interactive. No, it's so wonderful, you've got a very strong reaction to it. Interactivity is not reactivity with the volume turned up. That's, that's not how this works. It's completely different. So, how do I define interactivity? Well, I want to stress a useful definition, more of a characterization, something that, that allows you to think about interactivity, that allows you to draw interesting and useful conclusions. And so I look at the one interactive thing that we all do, that we all know inside and out, and that, that is just a universal experience, and that is conversation. And so I define interactivity as a conversation between the user and the computer. And so let's break it down into the basic steps. It starts when the user listens to whatever the computer is saying to him, metaphorically speaking. He looks at the screen, he says, oh dear, there's a green slobbering monster going to eat me up! Or he looks at the screen and says, okay, Please tell that fucking bastard to go on. Step two, he thinks about what he has seen. Uh, I gotta do something, I gotta shoot that monster! Uh, or, hmm, there's something wrong here. I need to change the phrasing a bit here. And uh, step three, he develops a reaction and speaks the reaction back to the computer, as in, blah, 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 blah. or, delete, 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 my esteemed colleague in the other department. <laughs> and uh, uh, now the tables are turned. 
Now it's the computer's turn to listen to what the uh, user had to say to him through the wires and the graphical user interface and all of that. Now the computer thinks about what the human said, only he thinks with algorithms. He develops his own reaction to it. And step three, he, he speaks that reaction back to the user, as in, oh, look, there's a, there's a blubbering pile of tissue there. <laughs> or, um, yes, yes, the page has been realigned, the lines brought up, paragraph reset, yeah, okay, and yeah, my turn, yeah. Good, I like it. So uh, he speaks it back to the user. Thus, I describe interactivity as a cyclic process in which the user and the computer alternately listen, think, and speak. Very simple definition. Very easy to understand. And I won't argue that it is technically correct, but I will argue that it is very useful for understanding how to use it in game design. Your job as a game designer, in fact, as any kind of software designer, is to design these three steps. You're responsible for all of them if you're the designer. The listening part, the thinking part, and the speaking part. And here's where a lot of people go wrong. You see, you've got to do all three of those steps, and you've got to do all of them well. If you screw up any single step, then you ruin the interactivity. For example, let's look at a lot of games. Most games look like this, don't they? They spend a lot of time speaking to you. Hey, look at my wonderful animation. Listen to this great soundtrack. Listen to me. Pay attention to me. I do all the talking. You want to say something? OK, you can push a, this one button here. Uh, they don't really do a very good job of listening, and they certainly don't do a good job of thinking. Well, think of a conversation that's, that's like this. You ever had a conversation with somebody who talk, 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 talks all the time, doesn't listen to what you're saying, doesn't pay, doesn't think about what you're saying, saying they just talk, 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 talk. How useful is a conversation like that? Well, that's the way most games are designed now. Think about that. What kind of game designer do you want to be? All talk, no listen? The quality of the interactivity that you get in a piece of software is based on the, getting the right combination, the right balance between those three steps. As one step goes out of balance, the, the more out of balance it gets, the poorer the quality of the interactivity. This doesn't just apply to speaking. I mean, if you overdo the thinking part, uh, then it's just as bad. So you need to find the right balance. Another way of saying it is that the quality of the interactivity you create is limited by the weakest part. 